All right, guys, we're about to get into an unboxing of this Innocent 40 inch ultra wide monitor. This widescreen, boys, 3440 by 1440. I'm gonna be so productive with this. Let's get to the unboxing. What is up, everybody? Today, we're gonna be unboxing the Innocent 40 inch widescreen monitor. Now, it is a 144 hertz refresh rate monitor, so supposedly great for gaming, but we're gonna be using it for other purposes. So it's not a curved monitor. It's actually just regular flat, like my two monitors over here. Um, we're gonna get into those in another video later, but you see the desk setup. We're going crazy right here. So this does support HDR 400, and it is a 34, 3440 by 1440. So, as I said, it's a widescreen. Now, let's get into this unboxing, guys. All right, let's unbox this guy. So, you guys are getting my first initial viewing as well. That one is genuine, having me open this box, as you can see. Um, Got this open. <clears throat> it's a heavy metal stand, like very heavy. This is definitely gonna keep that in place. All right. Let's just create the trash on the floor. All right. This is the power cord. <clears throat> Type C and a display port cable in here. All right, it's got the color calibration port from the factory, letting us know <clears throat> that it passed the color calibration. I'm assuming. obviously going to hook up to the actual stand, the bottom part. So you see this is going to connect right into the monitor and then this part is going to connect to the metal stand right here. Bingo! Just like that. Seems like it's going to be an easy setup. Right. Color calibration port. Power cable. Display port. USB type C. Two cables. Screws. Let's continue to get this guy out of the box. Here's the monitor. The moment we've all been waiting for, folks. Here is the inner 
this in. 40 inch monitor. And look at that. I'm pretty sure you can base them off this too. So, but let's go ahead and get this on stand. All right. And once you get the stand on here, No tools required. Just twist it in there. Boom. Just like that. We're good to go. Now let's get this on the monitor. Here we have our Innocent 40 inch monitor. Now let's get this stand attached. Watch, watch how easy this is though. How big that is. Let's see what the actual measurements are. So it is about 37 inches wide. 37 inches wide with a height of about 16 and a half, about a 15 and a half vertical. About an inch bezel, maybe half an inch bezel, give or take, at a 37 inch width. That's pretty good. How's she looking? All right, guys, I finally got this booted up, and this is gonna be my work monitor. So, this is gonna be my work desk where I do all of my day job work. So, I have it connected to my work laptop, and I really wanted to compare how many columns I get in comparison to my work laptop. So when I plugged it in and I compared it, I was like, Jesus. So my work laptop, the columns go from A to U. This 40 inch Innocent monitor, this widescreen monitor, it goes from A to BA. That means it goes from A to Z, A to Z again, and then gives you one more additional column. So I literally get twice as many columns. Definitely impressed with the screen real estate. I'm not gonna be using the 144 hertz refresh rate, but I'm using it for the screen real estate. And just having that much screen real estate is definitely gonna increase my productivity. And the fact that it has a type USB-C with a 90 watt output, I'm able to charge my laptop and extend the display with one cable. So easy cable management, and it has a great adjustable stand that I can just slide up and down. So that's gonna be super convenient, especially when I wanna add some of the books underneath the same way I do on this setup. So let's add a couple right now. So definitely be building out this desk, the same way I built out this one. Um, this one is just, it's completely built out already. This one's starting fresh. As you guys get to see the first addition to this desk, you guys saw it when it was blank. And now you guys get to help me pretty much build it out with my the thing that's going to be taking up the most real estate on the actual desk, and that's going to be the Innocent widescreen 40 inch monitor. And I cannot be more happy with my choice because I actually got it for a great deal. Um, right now, I think it's on Amazon for, I think it's roughly in the 300 range. And I think that's around what I got it for. So I think it's between like three and 400. So I think I think it'd be $400 for it. But you know, knowing me, you gotta have some orange books, you know, I usually try to incorporate books with my interests, but I also love to have as much orange as I can. So, Art of the Samurai, 
Shoe Dog by Phil Knight, and I got uh, some mythology. But as you can see, there's a recurring theme. They all have some kind of, you know, orange kind of hue to it. So what I like to do is I'm gonna tuck these guys right up under here and try and make that, you know, nice little aesthetic going on. And slide that over and you guys tell me what you think. You know, I'm trying to create this nice little more aesthetic going on in here. I think it was great. So let's get some B-roll with my new camera. But first, but first, I wanna talk about in this next video, we're actually going to be utilizing the monitor that I'm gonna have connected to my new camera. And that is actually gonna be a 24 inch LG monitor. So I'm pretty much gonna unbox that as well as unbox the um, stand that's gonna be pairing with that, which is gonna allow me to watch myself while I'm recording myself. So we're going to get into this new camera really quick. Just give you guys a sneak peek of what I'm gonna be shooting on. Right now we're shooting on the iPhone 12 Pro and we're going to be shooting on the Black Magic Design 6K with a 18 to 35 Sigma lens, EF lens connected to it. So I'm gonna get some B-roll with this and some B-roll with my iPhone 12 Pro, get some good comparisons, see how well I do with this color grading. Cause that's to me really is the biggest difference is the color grading between this and the iPhone 12 Pro. It's just crazy. Oh, and then the amount of data that's going to be needed to require to render these videos Taking on this is going to be completely night and day between the iPhone 12 Pro. But look at this monitor, guys. <laughs> it's awesome. So, especially for the price point, you can't beat that price. 144 hertz, widescreen, HDR 440 inches. I mean, look at that. The bezel's not that big. It's a great addition, especially to the desk. We're definitely going to build up this work desk around there and just make this super productive desk. Now that desk over there is just can't wait to show you guys pretty much the entire layout of everything that I really put into both these desks and just the what I put into this office whether it's lighting whether it's the camera equipment all the tech I'm just gonna give you guys the full scoop but let's get into this b-roll. All right guys, if you guys have made it this far, once again, I cannot thank you enough. Like, we just hit a thousand views on my first video. It's only been a week. Like, I, I cannot thank you guys enough. Um, like, comment, subscribe. I have a ton more videos coming because I'm pretty much just building out my dream office studio. Like, as I said earlier, you know, next video is probably gonna be my 24 inch monitor. Uh, it's an LG monitor. I'm gonna talk about the setup and how it's gonna be utilized and how it's gonna, you know, make me more productive. And that's the goal, just to be extremely productive in this room. Whether that's gaming, I'm being extremely productive gaming or, you know, editing content or doing my actual work, my day job. I'm gonna build out the most productive setup, but also super high tech. I mean, I, I don't wanna, I don't want to skip. I, I'm going to go for, you know, some affordable affordable products, but this is a $160 keyboard. Like, I'm not sure if that's affordable to a lot of people, but it's high tech. I mean, computer and technology connoisseurs alike, you know, I think there's going to be a lot in store for everybody. 
you know, I'm gonna have some affordable finds. I'm also gonna have some high tech, you know, some stuff that you might have to put a little bit of money into it, but you're gonna get what you pay for. So thanks again, guys. Keep a lookout, Jim Libero, signing out.